Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can uh, set up your Samsung Galaxy S22 series and transfer the data from the iPhone over to the new device. So first, turn on your device and when you are at the welcome screen, tap on the start button and then tap on agreed. Now you might need to also put in your Wi-Fi password to connect to your Wi-Fi router and I have uh, previously done that already. So in here, it says permissions for Samsung apps and services. Now tap on the more button and tap on agree. Next, connect to your Wi-Fi. So I have already connected to my Wi-Fi. And after you have connected to your Wi-Fi, tap on the next button. And it says checking for update. Now in order for you to transfer the data over from the iPhone to your Galaxy S22, um, what you need to do is to have one of these devices. It is a Samsung uh, Smart Switch device. This adapter can be purchased uh, online or at your Samsung uh, st store. Now this adapter does not come with the phone, so you need to purchase it separately. You also need to have one of these uh, lightning cable comes with your iPhone. So this is the US USB-A and, US and lightning uh, port connector. So we plug this into the, the smart switch adapter, like so. And then on your device, we're going to tap on copy apps and data, tap on next. It's an updating smart switch right now. And we want to transfer data from iPhone or iPad. So choose the iPhone or iPad. And ne next is a connect to iPhone or iPad. All right, now, so I'm going to plug in this adapter into the device. And then I just plug it out the other way around. So face up like that. And then on the other end, we're going to connect to the iPhone like so. And here's a connecting to transfer your data. Now, if you do not have this adapter, then you can transfer using iCloud. Now on the iPhone, tap on the trust button. Then we put in the screen passcode. Next on the Samsung phone, tap on next. It says can't connect, charge this uh, phone battery to at least 40%. Now because the phone is uh, quite low at the moment, so I'm going to charge it up and then we can continue with this tutorial. Okay, next we're going to tap on the next button and then tap on next. And we're going to choose iPhone and iPad and tap on OK. Now say connecting to transfer your data. Make sure your phone is now charged up. And it's say now searching for data to transfer over. So I'm gonna swipe up to see more. So there are some more options here. Now with uh, the smart switch, uh, these are the following things you can transfer over. So calls and contacts, messages, now in here it says the last 30 days, so you want to tap on that and you may want to select all, so that chance that all the messages over, not just in the last 30 days. For apps, you can tap on the arrow and choose uh, which apps you want to bring it over. It says sign to your Google account to download Android versions uh, of your iOS apps and get the recommended apps when they are not exact match. All right, so. Uh, for data from iPhone's apps, you can tap on it and choose uh, what you want to uh, move over. Now, depending on uh, what apps you have installed on your iPhone, so you may see a lot more than I do that than my device, because on this device here, it doesn't actually have a lot of things installed on it. And then on done. And we go down to settings. In settings, uh, it will bring the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth information over. And then you got home screen. The following items can be copy, apps and shortcuts, lock screen wallpaper and home screen wallpaper. And here you've got images, you can move images over, videos, any items that you don't want to transfer over, you can deselect it. So for example, images and videos, I do not want to bring it over, I can simply deselect them. So select what you want to move over to your uh, Samsung device and then tap on transfer. Now say I need to sign in, so tap on the sign in button. Okay, once you have signed to Google account, you can choose who will be using this device. So you can select, I will be using this device or my child 
we'll be using this device and tap on next then tap on agreed and now you have to agree to the services and tap on accept then tap on sign in so it's a checking for matching apps on my iPhone here it's got a new sign in on the Galaxy S22 all right so now you can go down and choose the apps that you want to install on your uh, Galaxy S22 and uh, for now I'm going to deselect all of them and tap on skip and now the process will begin to transfer the data over from the iPhone or iPad to your Galaxy S22 device and then tap on next tap on more tap on more then tap on accept so go through the list here and choose what you want to turn on or turn off and it's got here into updates and apps so you can tap on that to read some more information and then tap on the accept button Next, you can set up your device. Um, for now, you can set up the pins. I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, and then tap on continue. Then I'll put in one, two, three, four again to confirm, and then tap on the OK button. So you can use face recognition, fingerprints, or other uh, methods. Now, on the next screen, it says, Do you want to turn on Hey Google? Uh, tap on I agree if you want to use it and tap on I agree again and say review additional apps so in here are the apps that you can review and then tap on OK and now say getting your phone ready all right on the next screen I'm going to tap on the next button and here you can at this point choose to sign to your Samsung account or not if not you can tap on the skip button and then tap on skip I highly recommend that you sign in. Now, on the next one, they say, how do you want to get around? Do you want to use uh, swipe gestures or show buttons uh, on the screen? Now, I personally like the home buttons on the bottom of the screen, so I'm going to choose show buttons on the screen and tap on next. Then in here, you can choose how you want to organize your phone, home and app screen, or simply just show the home screen only, and then tap on next. Choose your keyboard layout. So you've got two options here, extra keys so you can do more, or you can choose uh, type without distraction. And then tap on next. And so now you are all set up. Tap on finished. And that's it. So we have now successfully uh, transferred the data from the iPhone over to your Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, before you can start using your device, um, the phone will still need to install some apps on the background. You can see there are a lot of uh, installing, uh, installations and setting up on the background right here, and it's still trying to transfer the data over. So just wait until you see all the status here uh, completed before you switch off the, your device or before you start uh, looking for apps on your phone. So you can see in this folder, there are apps still trying to install on the device. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.